So um, my name is Ann Sheehy. I'm, I'm the Division of Hospital Medicine and have been interested in observation, care, and the associated audits. So we conducted a study um, at three academic medical centers. We combined our data at the University of Wisconsin with Johns Hopkins Hospital and the University of Utah. And basically the background is um, that there's a general sense that observation growth has been prompted by more intense auditing from federal auditors called recovery audit contractors. And these auditors are paid on a per case basis for cases that they audit and win. So their incentives are aligned with um, auditing cases. They're the only Medicare contractors that are paid on this contingency fee system. So basically what we did was we looked at all of our Medicare encounters from 2010 to 2013 at the University of Wisconsin, Utah and Hopkins. And then we coordinated all and collected all of the data here. And we looked at all of those cases that were audited. We looked at what we did with those audits, whether the RAC had actually denied payment or agreed with us. If they denied payment, we looked at what we did with that case, whether we appealed that decision, and then the results of those appeals. So um, basically what we found was, and this is kind of a um, very, um, all of our detailed data, but we had over 100,000 Medicare encounters, and we found that the auditors audited 8% of those cases, so it was about 8,000 cases that were audited. They actually issued a payment denial of a third, about 31%, and we appealed 91%. And we find those numbers to be important because Medicare in general states they, uh, they only audit about 0.3% of cases. So we were audited at a rate about 25 times that. And these were three hospitals that crossed different RAC regions across the country. So fairly representative. Um, we found that the majority of our claims were settled in what's called the discussion period, which is a pre-appeals time period. That's important because the discussion period doesn't appear in um, reports of auditor accuracy. So all of these overturns that are occurring, actually um, the racks, they kind of just go away. So Congress and, and Medicare have tried to assess accuracy of the auditing program, but the biggest area of, audit, of overturns is not appearing in those records. Um, we also found that our cases were in appeals for a very long period of time, so our mean time in appeals was over 500 days. Cases from 2010 had been in appeals for over 1,200 days. 2011 had been in appeals for about 900 days. And this lengthy appeals process caused the hospitals to withdraw some cases and just try to get um, some, some sort of payment for that care. So for, for years, they had kind of payment tied up. Um, we also um, found that it was important that None of these audits contested the medical care we delivered. So I think we all think about um, fraud in the Medicare system as you know doctors billing for care they didn't deliver or was unnecessary care. You'll sometimes read about like the the physician that billed for 30 hours of care seven days a week, you know, every day. Um, that's not what the auditors were looking at. They were none of them contested any in any of these cases the care we delivered. It was all disputing this billing status of outpatient versus inpatient. So we think that's an important message about is this really an important thing that these auditors are doing? And we would argue that that auditing power of the Medicare program should be you know more useful in detecting fraud as we kind of think think of it. So our conclusions basically based on those findings were that we needed more transparency and data reporting in the Medicare program. A lot of the numbers that we found, like the length of time in appeals, um, the discussion period, the reason for a RAC um, denying payment, none of those factors appear in federal reports. And we would we were just, we did this study kind of to find out what elements we thought should be in data reporting, so that Congress and CMS can improve the audits program across the country. So.